What's up everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. Back at it again with another tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at interactable text menus at the basic level. So let's see here. Settings. This pops open another options list, the settings menu. Let's select mirror 2. Ooh, I can tell it turned on because my recording went to shit and we can kind of see it over there. Let's try this again. Turn it off. Yeah, recording looks good again, so I know it's off. But there we go. So you can set this to any object you would like, such as lighting or walls. I, I don't know, pick up a wall, anything you can think of. Imagination's the limit here. So without uh, without getting into too much more of the preview, let's see how it's done. All right, so here we have our object, which is a setting or a collection of three empty objects. Let's remake it so we can see how we did that. It is to create our empty objects. Let's just create a new one here. Double click to go to where I put it, which is way up here. Okay, let's call this a canvas. and text. So make sure this is a rectangle transform. I'm gonna start adding components. So what we added was a canvas, canvas render, canvas scaler, graphic raycaster, and an udon behavior. And we will want a VRC UI shape. All right. Okay, and we will want this script to be the toggle game object. We won't worry about assigning it a variable just yet because we do not have one. For our pane, we want an image. And for our text, we want text plus toggle. Okay. Let's call this settings. this black so we can see. Go back to our canvas. Make it non-pixelated. Hooray. Okay. So we're going to get the plus here. Find our canvas object. Just drop it there. We're going to want to get an udon behavior. Send custom event string. Type in toggle with a capital T. Okay, now we're ready to copy this object. Move it over. We're gonna create another game object inside pane. Call this controller one and drop the text inside of that. Call this text setting one, or let's say, let's just call it something a little more mirror one. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our original canvas. And this game object, game object that's gonna toggle is the other menu. Okay, let's um keep going. All right, let's go back to our controller one, add an udon behavior. We want this to again be toggle game object. 
and the object we want it to toggle is whatever you're going to be toggling. So one of our mirrors, this text now needs to run the controller. Send custom event, toggle. Now we're gonna want this to be off by default. So we're gonna uncheck it. And this should work now as intended. We're gonna test it here in a second. But let me walk you through the logic. So basically clicking this settings button will toggle this other canvas to be active and appear. And then when you click on something inside this other canvas, such as this text, which is mirror one, it'll trigger this controller, which will toggle whatever object you set it to. So it's kind of like a chain of loop toggles. So yeah, let's uh let's move these somewhere a little more appropriate and test it out. All right, you can see we removed them in a slightly better position. Let's hop in game and test it out. All right, here we are back in game. We have our not the best position or size for these, but that's okay. So settings toggles the other canvas, and then mirror toggles the mirror. That's how it works, guys. So you can just add more controllers and more text to the second menu, and no matter whatever you click on, we'll toggle whatever object you have it set to toggle. That's pretty much how it works. If you, get, if you guys followed this and it worked for you, you're able to reproduce it, make sure you throw me a like and subscribe. And if you had any issues, let me know what was going on. I'll see if I can help you out. Until next time, guys, make sure you have a great day. Later.